All right. So about seven or eight months ago, Blitz gave me a coaching session on how to play mid. And for some reason, this has sat on my hard drive since then. I don't know why I didn't upload it before. But even though this is a couple of patches ago, uh, I think it's still pretty useful. It gave me a lot of tips. I've gone back and rewatched this and I've tried to see what I've remembered from from the coaching session. And some of it now has actually become quite a big part of the way I play. Uh, and it definitely did help a bit. It didn't add 800 MM MMR points onto my MMR, which is what Blitz promised. So I will ask for my money back. But nevertheless, I think it did make a difference. And it certainly improved my last hitting when I'm playing in the safe lane. I still find mid a bit tricky. Uh, but uh, I hope you guys appreciate some of the tips that you've got in this video. It should be useful for a lot of the, the players out there who are at my kind of level. This is a really good coaching session from Blitz about some fundamentals about playing mid that I had just, because I'm an idiot, had not picked up uh, myself from watching games and playing it for several years. Um, some of them are very intuitive, and the moment he tells them to me, I'm just overwhelmed by a sense of uh, stupidity and not noticing them before. Uh, if you're in the same kind of boat as me, maybe you'll you'll appreciate some of these little tips as well, uh, some of them. And... Um, yeah, could you know enjoy the video? It's a little guide. It's about forty minutes long, and it's a series of mid duels versus me and Blitz. Uh, he's obviously not just trying to wreck me; he's trying to teach me. Uh, but nevertheless, he wrecks me. So uh, I will. Uh, let's get on with the video. I was. Um, I'm going to show you in like essentially one-on-one -on -one type scenario how to improve. Oh. Like playing games does nothing for. It's going to do nothing for us. Well, I've already, you... I mean, I'm streaming and I've invited people. They don't want to watch me. What? Okay. So why would 1v1 against you? Yeah, it's irrelevant that you're playing against me. Trust me, it's it's the it's the principles okay. that you have to learn. All right, so what well, we, we, can we do would it. just do a we lobby, just you and me, 1v1? Yeah, exactly. And I would essentially teach you what's going wrong and how to fix it, like right. in a series of hour sessions. Like, you say you want, like, actual change, right? Like, this well, is how no, you do it. Well, no, you said I needed actual change. I, yeah, I... well, like, this is how you get actual change. Like, stuff that'll stick forever. Oh, wow. Okay, let me just write down. So we've got Monticus, Sen, was it Thou, and plus one. Okay, all right. All right, so let me just kick Sen. All right, sorry, guys. All right, so... um. Okay, I'm gonna host the lobby. Just All right. Come join. Send send me the password. Or else you'll just join um, you, don't worry. Yeah, you can just join. Alright, so the thing is, is like um this first game we're just gonna play, okay? Okay. Um type in this command at the beginning of the game and enable a courier and um give yourself two tangos. What what is this? Oh, um, I I created a lobby. Come join. Um. Um. So I was trying to figure out how like the best way to coach somebody is okay. for like the longest time, right? And I used to do replay coaching, you know, where I would right, go over right. a replay with somebody, and I realized that there was no point in that because it just took too fucking long, and there's just too many things to cover, right? So I figured the better way to do things is if I was just proactive, and I actually just fixed things for you before they happened, essentially. Okay, okay. Like, to teach you the way that I play, more or less, is the best way. Okay. And um, most of the time, people improve up to, like, 800 MMR or something. Okay. I think that's what my average is you sold right it, now. you sold it. Let's do it, let's do it. Oh, there was a I literally just there created was. a lich. Mablebot. Get it? Oh, Mablebot has spawned inside the trees. Just create a new one then, or have him eat tangos. Agreed. <laughs> you can create as many of them as you want. Mabel bought you dummy. Yeah, she's bought a courier. Good on you, Mabel. So just by, just get Mabel to give me two tangos. Yes, you can control the hero. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm, I, I figure a bottle is my first item, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, just go whatever item you're gonna go for. Okay. Well said. I'm gonna get her to ward for me. Is that cool or no? Yeah, it's fine. How are you this morning? You seem fatigued. Me? Um, I mean, 
I slept after the qualifiers because I hadn't slept. I was mm. nervous. And then I woke up like an hour ago, and I've just been laying in bed while Kern went to work. Truly. Shit, I didn't get the rune. Mm -hmm. Come on, Mabel. You don't go for the rune. Oh, why? Go for block. Just play it normally, what the hell? I go for the rune every time, homie. Oh my fucking god, alright, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna pause a lot and just talk, okay? Alright. A lot of this is just gonna be us discussing stuff so you understand principles, like, really understand principles, okay? Mm hmm. Alright, so the first thing I want to point out, like, off the bat, is, um, what you should really do whenever you play any sort of matchup, when you enter it, is ask what's gonna happen, right? Like, in the lane. For example, yeah. like, when you play against the Queen of Pain, you know you're gonna get daggered and right-clicked, right? Right. Like, so why, why bother coming up to range just to get right-clicked by me? And to get daggered? I was daggered. trying to get a sick deny. Yeah, but why? But how is it worth it to get daggered and right-click four times to get one deny? Okay. So what like, should I have just the... stayed back? Yeah, exactly. Because do you, do you realize like how how like crappy that is? Because you're gonna lose like half your HP just because you try to go up for a deny. Okay. So why bother coming up at all, right? Like that's the thing that you have to ask yourself every single time: is whenever you do anything, is this action worth it? So when you play against a good mid player, like uh, what like, they're gonna like do? Like you. Go on. Yeah, what they're gonna do essentially is dagger you and right-click you repeatedly. Right. So why does it have to be that you learn that lesson after you get daggered and right-click six times and lose half your HP, right? Right. I mean, my, my only fear was like, if I just stand there and give you another level, that I'm gonna die even harder. Like. But the thing is, that you should realize as well, is that it was the fact that you went for the deny. What you should have done instead is gone for, do you know how to pull the creeps? Uh, attack you and pull them to me. Exactly, because then you would have been in a safe position to see us. But just by walking and playing the range, the range game and trying to go for the deny, I instantly just like will dagger you and right click you like 16 times. Right. So what's the point of having done that, right? right. There's almost none. By the, the way, I'd like that... to point out we made it 26 seconds into the game before I fucked up. <laughs> Actually, no, I fucked, up, I fucked up the moment that I spawned Lich, he spawned in the trees. <laughs> and then you said, don't go for the rune, go for the block. And I was like, okay, so three you mistakes. You go for the block, you like, three mistakes. Um, you should go for the rune in a real game, but this isn't a real game, right? Like it's <clears throat> This is as real as it is... gets, buddy. Yeah. Alright, let's do it, let's do it. So, that's what I mean, is that don't learn your lesson this late, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna resume now. Alright. Because it's not the dagger that scares you, it's the follow-up right-clicks after the dagger. Right, right. Let me just, hang on, I gotta send Mabel back to base. <laughs> like the wind! Ow. Forward! Mm -hmm. Okay, right now, do you see um, that you're getting denied like crazy, right? Right. The main issue with this as well is that when you move, when you're moving around and stuff like that, like you're ru you're running essentially around randomly. Like you're just like clicking your mouse to click your mouse, right? No, I'm, I'm moving around to do because in the if I just stand there, I look like an idiot. That's what I mean. You're just moving it to move it. What you're supposed to be doing. Um, do you realize what I do whenever I go for a last hit? Like even on a hero like Queen of Pain, mm -mm. just because I'm a range hero, it doesn't mean that I'm playing the max range, right? Um, when you play a hero like Storm, you're almost always going to be at a disadvantage in terms of range. So what you're aiming to do instead of like just playing like the max range of your hero is that as a creep is within one or two last hits, Ted, you have to like stop fidgeting essentially and walk like half. You have to close about half the distance because what's going to happen is that a I'm either going to go for the deny or b I'm going to be going for the right click on you. But either way, like, you win. Because if I go for the right click on you, then you get the CS. And if I go for the deny, you're not getting harassed anyways. Okay. And you're just giving yourself a better chance to get the CS. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, so because of, creepers... of, of the travel time of my attack, right? It's like Exactly. Okay. Because you, you notice what's happening is, like, you're throwing them out and then I get the deny, right? 
So you have to time it a little bit better. So whenever a creep is within two hits, you should be moving forward, not moving back. Like you should be playing back and forth the rest of the time to make it harder for me to right click you. Okay. But okay. the rest of the time, like you, you should be like moving in when a creep is about to die. Okay. And the other thing too is that if you want to avoid harass, all you have to do essentially is play the range of the dagger. When I move forward, you're meant to move back. Okay. And then when I start moving back as a result, you're meant to move forward to right click me. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm going to re restart again uh, or resume. In the game. Like, notice that I'm playing the max range, and then I come in, get the last hit, stop moving. Let's have the spotlight. And I pull the creep back right, right. to make it almost impossible for you to deny. Yes. Without a doubt. I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, boy. See what I mean, though? Because your travel time is so much shorter than me in this range. Alright, you should definitely be pulling the creep way back now. Storms are coming. Because if I, if, for example, if it's on the high ground for me like this, I'll just pull the creep way back. Blow them away. The spirit of the storm increases. Here, comes Here the I come. Oh baby. We are agreed. Your top tower is under attack. I yeah. love this part. Mm -hmm. I'll spirit you away. Mm. Oh, you bitch. Okay. I so know that something... was bad, okay? I panicked. Do you know why that was bad, though? Go on. Okay, I felt like so... I could have killed you. I really felt like I could have killed you. Nah, there's absolutely no way. <laughs> okay, so the main reason why, like, that was bad is because, um, every single time, like, you start losing creeps, what's gonna end up happening, Ted, is that I'm gonna push up on you. Do you right. understand that? Yeah, so, yeah. whenever I have the creep advantage, etc., like, I'm gonna push up on you. Whereas, whenever you have the creep advantage, you should be preemptively moving at me. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's restart, and this time I'll play the Storm and you'll play the Queen of Pain, okay? And I'll show well, you exactly... Again? Yeah, of course. Oh man. So this I already fucked learned. up three minutes. Okay. You fucked up like a hundred times, but this is why <laughs> we do this. Because I generally the feel whenever I go mid train. that I lose it. Like... Even if subsequently the game is one and I do okay, the actual mid laning phase, generally speaking, unless the matchup is disgusting, like my hero is just can't lose to their mid, I always feel like I lose it. That's what I'm trying to teach you, dog. Okay, so this time I'm going to pretend like I had a bad block, um, like you did okay, and I'm going to show you how whenever you when you do everything like correctly how it, it, it all like comes together okay okay so the the creeps are on your high ground instead of going for the deny and stuff like that Forward. what i'm essentially going to do is try to pull the creep way back oh yes and you you realize like when a creep is getting low and stuff i'm already in position Forward. too bad the pain train A path to pain. Denied. And I pull back. And I wait. I eat a tango right now because I'm getting kind of low. The creeps are on your high ground. I'm going to A attack you and drag them back. You see? Oh wow, look at that. Yeah. And this makes it hard for you to harass me and shit as well. Sweet pain. The difference though is just that off the bat, I'm pulling the creep way back to myself constantly so that I yeah. don't take her ass. And then I neutralize the weight. How, far, how like, close do you have to stand to do that? Because I always figured you had to be like super close. I just close. do it in like one circular motion. Like I see you on the high ground for a second, I pull it back like this. Oh, yes. Now that I play the range advantage, notice that I come in and out, right? Yeah. So it makes it hard for you to harass me and shit. Oh, and now I'm going to yes. teach you how to properly harass as a range hero, okay? Okay. The creep wave is pushing in. You go for the dagger on me, but my entire creep wave is behind me, so you yeah, can't yeah. fight so me. Yeah, so you can just rush me. 
Exactly. And notice that I'm going there preemptively before my creep wave dies because I realize that the creeps will follow me as I come in. So there's less time for you to react. And that's how you died last time. Is that there's too many creeps with me. Oh, yes. I pull back. Oh man, and you got the whole creep wave again. Your queen moves. And I push up, and now I come back. And we do this over and over again. And this is the proper way to do this. A royal path. Attack! Also, I suck at last hitting, which doesn't help. Forward. A path to pain. Hey, you bitch. Shit! More. More. Oi, oi, oi. Do you see, though, the difference in the way that I'm CSing versus yeah, the way that you're it. CSing? In the beginning is that I, what I was doing is that I pulled the creep way back. I didn't just go for oh, passive nice. denies or wait in the back, right? Like, I had an active part in what was going on in the creep wave and stuff. And you notice the other thing, too, is that I don't waste mana. Like, a lot of the times you would just throw out the remnant and then go for a right click on me. That's not, like, the proper way to do it. Right. Also, though, when I push I'm out permanently stuck behind my tower here, just getting attack. exactly pushed. Yeah. So I use my remnant essentially to push out the wave, while Your also getting um, like a lot of CS, and at the same time I can push up on you at the same time. But the main thing that you're doing wrong, Ted, more than anything in the first wave, you're just not pulling it back. So the lane stays static, and then you have zero options Your as to what you can do. So for you, it's either like. You get right clicked, or you just sit there while nothing happens. Pain builds character. Same shit's gonna happen again. The wave starts pushing in. Oh yes. Look, I don't know how to. What am I meant to do at this point? You're supposed to win. You have to win the lane earlier than this. Swiftly. Here, here. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, yes. Your bottom tower is under Share attack. Share my pain. And now your I'm fucked. Tower oh, is under yes. attack. oh, shit, you're level six, homie. <laughs> Dang! Your I'm only left off. I turned on cheats, by the way, because of the game. Oh, uh, you piece of shit! Didn't you just throw me? Sh watch me throw down 85 remnants? Yeah, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> what? All right, I almost anyways. killed you too. Do you see the problem though? I win. Do you see the problem with like what happens is that whenever you enter a lane, like you're essentially just waiting to be passive. Mm. Like, don't do that. Like, pull the creep wave back. Like. Get in position to CS better. Like, don't fidget so much. When a creep is about to die, like that should be your time to finally start walking. Like, a lot of the times you're just like sitting still, waiting for stuff to happen. You stop moving. You come in when a creep is about to die. Okay. Okay. Yep. The other thing that you have to do is pull the creep wave back, because right now the way that you CS is incorrect. Like, you just sit there. So come join the game right now. Okay. Alright, just um, play against the bot and try to get the first 8 CS of the game, okay? okay? Like, don't do anything else. That's all you're trying to do, is get the first 8 CS of the game. Because okay. that'd be like, bottle and boots. Um, I think it'll just be bottle, I'm not sure. Can I play a storm? Yeah, you're, you're against nobody. I'm essentially just telling you, get the first 8 CS of the game without using remnant. Okay. Alright, so where are I? I, won't, I won't even skill. Uh, this guy in your chat said Prepare something really funny. Battle. Oh, this egocentric we guy just green. scared he's gonna <laughs> lose to Pyrian? Yeah, I'm pretty- I'm pretty- he's gotta be- he's just kidding, I'm pretty sure. I have no yeah, idea, dude. My chat is insane. It's 90 Buy yourself a null, by the way. A null? Okay. Oh, sh yeah, buy a null talisman. You, a doubt. you have to go back. I didn't spawn a bot. Get in there, Lich. Well said. <laughs> Do 
Do I need the null because my last hitting sucks so bad? No, it's just the it's just the thing you get. Because I normally just get two, get to, <laughs> two tangos and then just try and get a bottle as fast as I can. Because oh, because no. I farm with like. You need some stats. Okay. We're gonna not rely so much on using the remnant for you. Yeah. Like I'm gonna I'm, we're gonna work out how to properly CS for you. Okay, so let's just pretend like you're playing against, um, like a melee, you're playing against a melee hero, okay? Okay. So show me how you would lane, essentially, if you're playing against a melee hero. But there's no one there, right? Yeah, like, there's, it doesn't matter, but just pretend like you're playing against a melee hero. It's, everything else is relevant. Forward! Hmm. Yes. You see how much easier it is to CS when you close mm -hmm. the distance gap? Yeah, yeah. And you can even come closer than that. Like, you don't have to be so far away. Oh shit. Like, um, that time you were too far, and yeah. you um, you were still moving when a creep was within two hits. Like, you, your creep, you like, you should essentially have stopped moving when a creep is within two hits. Like, you should be at the point where you're about to get the CS. Okay. Storm warning. So dancing in and out. So right now you should be, yeah, you should be in already. Yeah. Like I you should prioritize. Keeping my okay. Um, the other thing too is that you should almost always prioritize getting the last hit over getting the deny. Okay. Like ten times out of ten. Oh. I'll spirit you away. Better. Like the wind, the spirit of the storm increases. Storm okay, we can leave this time. now. Do you see? Um, do you see how much easier this is, though? Well, like, yeah, there's no one there. Just... That's the reason it's easier. And but I still, the thing still is, the thing is, if I'm playing against you, I'm essentially going to play like there's nobody there again. Okay. Like, the main thing that's going wrong for you is just the fact that whenever you're going for CS. You're using your max hero's range, Without and a lot of your movement is like completely useless. Like, um, uh, come join the game really quickly. Okay, so creep comes in. You know the first creep's gonna die, right? All of the creeps are hitting this one. Yeah. I start going for soft and ice. When a creep is about to die, I ran in, and I close and I get in and out. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a motion. You hit it, in and out. You see that I'm playing the max distance. When I'm going for denies and stuff. Right, but for the last hits, you run in. Yeah, exactly. I close the distance at the last second, so there's almost no travel time. Like, I've essentially stopped moving. Here's what you're doing, okay? Like, you're going in and out, and then in and out, and you're starting to walk, but then by the time, like, you're ready for the CS, you see how you miss it. Yeah, yeah. Like, by the time the creep is about to die, you should essentially have stopped moving. Right. Because you know which creep is going to die faster. It's yeah. usually the one that the range is going to be hitting. So this one, I stop. Attack. You fucking missed! Oh. I mean, that shit happens. Whereas, like, most of the time when you're CSing and stuff like that, you're going for denies when you shouldn't. And you're oftentimes, like, just doing stuff that I would consider inefficient. Okay. Because you're just kind of moving around and around. Like, by the time, it's just practice. Like, yeah. you should be moving in and out. It should be like a really fluid motion for you. Okay. Alright, do you see the patterns now? Yeah. Alright, let me show you how to now to play against the melee hero, okay? Okay. Alright, so come join the game. A melee. Do you notice though, as well, that uh, <coughs> when we played the range versus range, when I played the storm, oh. I was able to like come in on you and uh get into a fight with you, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, the reason for that is because when I go for harass, it's not a random tech. Like, a lot of the times you would pop your remnant and just right-click me in the middle of a creep wave, mm -hmm. but, like, I don't go for random harass like that. Like, whenever I go for harass on you, it's with the help of the creep wave, essentially. Like, I'm pushing up preemptively before the creep wave even dies. Right. Um, like, you so see what's... when it's about to push, because 
their last exactly. guy's about to die and you just charge in, yeah. Exactly. Because then they need creep like is... maybe four or five creep auto attacks as well and Yeah. Whenever yeah. whenever a hero has like whenever a side has like one CS left and you've got more than that, like two, three to one or something like that, you're essentially gonna be trying to move in at that point. Okay. Um what's a popular mid hero? I guess I'll just play Kunkka. It's uh, kind of irrelevant. I was gonna say Dragon Knight, but yeah, Kunkka. This is gonna require some practice, sir. Uh... Mm -hmm. It's fine. Do you notice though? It's like taking us essentially an hour just to cover like the first um, minute or whatever. But it's really important, isn't it? I mean, it's like yeah. Because because right then, I mean, in that first minute or two, when you, when uh, a minute ago, where I, where you killed me as Quop, mm -hmm. and then you killed me as Storm, I basically had already lost mid at that point, hadn't I? Like yeah, was, uh, getting out of control. Wind. You were six before I was. You were probably gonna kill me. Exactly, and that's what I'm trying to teach you. It's just the first three minutes every day until we get to like Like literally it's gonna take us like six lessons before we even get to like the 25 minute mark of a Dota game But that's the point is that we're trying to make lasting change for once, right? Okay. I'm not trying to coach you for like one scenario. I'm gonna teach you all of them Okay, so you know in this one that Kunkka essentially it's the cleave and the torrent, right? Yeah, yeah Like those are the things you look out for Like so generally so, speaking whenever he comes in for last I just try and dodge to the side and just get yeah, out of the way. or you try to you you try mm -hmm. to win the lane essentially when my tidebringer is down. Forward. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Fucking hit it! You shouldn't have. Here I come. Moving too much again. Yeah, but I was trying to get into attack you. <laughs> Why? There's a CS about to die. Blurry. When there's a creep about to die, that should be the only thing that you focus on. Okay. I'm getting owned. <laughs> Do you notice how in the beginning I'm I'm still using the um the creeps yes. or uh I grew. I'm using the creep pullback. So yeah. that it is within my range. You see how important it is now? In disadvantageous matchups. See, I'm trying to pull it. I'm doing a click on you, but it ain't working. There we go. You have to, like, do it a few times if they're not in the perfect position. Okay. You don't just, like, do it once and then give up on it. Well, yeah, but then I started tanking a shitload of creeps. Hmm. Um, it's essentially like a pendulum motion. You come in, you try to aggro creeps, you get out. Was that a spotlight? On me? Like, okay. you don't actually have to right-click me, it's just the motion, you Yeah, know? yeah, I was. So you can already pull back early. So that... No damage. You can just keep doing it over and over again to keep pulling it back. Ow. Oh shit, I'm dead, oh. I don't think you are. Storm's a broken hero, dude. Oh shit, now I'm dead, dude! Okay, um, so this time I'm gonna play Storm and you're gonna play Kunko, okay? And I'll show you where things went wrong. I'm gonna show you how to win the lane within the first 30 seconds, like, every single time. Okay. As who? If, as Storm versus a melee hero. Okay. But you do have to, um, you do have to get better at pulling the creep wave. Like, it's something that you and I, off stream sometime, We'll practice. Okay. Like, uh, I'll show you how to do it sometime. Because, I mean, I just want to highlight how important it is. Okay. I really appreciate this, by the way, dude. Don't worry about it, man. 30 seconds to battle. I've got nothing better to do right now. I'm in my <laughs> boxers, like, That's not home. the way to respond to, to a thanks. Oh, it's, dude, I was just fucking doing nothing anyway. <laughs> meant to say, oh, thank you. My time is valuable, and then I and then I feel good. Okay, okay. Dude, that's some dad talk right there. The battle begins. Run up the sail while we've got the tide. I'm gonna show you how I use Remnant this time to like force you out essentially, okay? Okay. Is because it's not just about whenever you come in to get a CS that you're using Remnant. 
essentially you're just going to use it as like a spell to like keep you off the creep wave. So, so this time I have a better block than you. Um, notice how aggressively I'm positioned, but yeah. I'm I'm positioned away from the creeps as well. So that if I do get into a right click fight with you. Okay, and remember the thing that we learned, right? It's now I have four creeps and you have one. Yeah. So what's going to happen? I'm going to get out. You see that I'm tracing ball. you before. Like my creep yeah, wave yeah. is dead. And now look how aggressively I've positioned myself. So that's the first tide bringer down, and nothing's happened. Yeah. I can't even get to this fucking I grow stronger. creps. And I, I haven't right clicked you once, right? It's just the, the way that I'm positioned. I look like Mothra. I look aggressive. Oh. Oh, I was so close. I. So I feel like at this stage I should just go off and start new being ready to block my creeps. Like. Yeah, you can go do that. By your compass. Ah, deny. Fair enough. You see how I position myself in front of the creep wave? Yeah, though? So I'm not even going afraid. for the right click on you. It's just, we'll it's just the ahead. fact that I'm essentially putting myself between me and the creep wave every time. And then when there's uh, nothing to do, like things are static for me, like I have nothing to deny or last hit, I just right click you. Yeah. Because there's not four creeps. That's the key is that you don't have max creeps in that situation. You have like one or two, so oh, I'm always going to be trading efficiently. All right, that was bad. I clicked on the mini map. But essentially what you're doing is making yourself a barrier between you and the melee hero. You don't have the Piece of shit. Any questions? <sighs> no, I just, win. I suck. Like, I'm playing the center of the board every single time, in uh, between yeah. the creep wave and the melee creep. Or the melee creep and the range creep. That's the key that you should be realizing. Of course. Like, but I can't even get to you, like... That's what I mean. How you, this is how you're supposed now to play. Is that, me. Yeah, is that you're playing yourself as a barrier. Like, a lot of the times I'm not right-clicking you, right? It's the body language is that I come in and then you run back. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Is I, I don't actually want to right-click you and waste my time doing that. It's just that I want to create, like, a space where you feel uncomfortable entering. Like, I've, I've just conditioned you, more or less, into realizing that every single time you're going to come up, I'm going to right-click you. Yeah. Oh, I really wanted that one. No, fuck you. Torrented. No. Oh. See, what I would, re what I would really want to do is just cow by the tower, and just quit. Like that's what I would. <laughs> I feel like we lost mid, guys. Like that's it. And that's that's what I that's what you're trying to do to to me or somebody else is that. What I'm trying to get you to do is, or see, is that um, you're not actually going for right clicks on somebody. It's just the fact that you're scared. Yeah. Like that's the point where you want to put the lane. Is that I I don't care whether I right click you or kill you. It's just the fact that you're afraid to hit me. Mm. You notice that? That's what I wanted to highlight like so frequently. Is that you're you're like, what am I supposed to do here? Like without me even right clicking you. That's the key. Yeah. Is that I didn't have to hit you to accomplish that. You just, it was you just, just the had way that those, I was positioned. You had your creeps with you, like, the whole time. You were surrounded by... Like, you were... Like, because you protected them, I couldn't even approach the wave. Because if I did, like, especially as melee, if I came in to try and do anything, I was going to get the creep wave all over me. I was trying to pull exactly. them towards me, but I, they just... Uh, they only came once. Because, like, it was just fucking hell. It was tough. Again, you're playing way too far back in the first wave. Okay. Remember what I said about coming in, like, essentially to, like, uh... Mm -hmm. You're not putting any, like, pressure on me off the bat. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, you're just letting me get... It's it's all about the first wave. Like, within the first wave, you should be, essentially, like, in a position that already hurt me. Let's do this again. Really? Yeah. It's honestly just the first wave that matters. Because you're just you're just trying to win the first wave. Like I came into melee range of the creeps. Oh wow, I thought you was didn't... doing okay there for a second. No, I came into melee range of the creeps and you weren't 
you weren't past it. Like, you, you stood there static with me. Like, that's what I'm trying to say is, like, don't just, like, play the well, lane so static. The very start, like, I got the good block. Yes, the very I thought, start. great, I'm on my side of the river. This is going well. Yes, but when you were on your side of the river, why were you not, like, between me and the creep wave, essentially? Like, you played, you're because playing, you were like, right the up max in it. range Like, again. how could I get in there? Oh my god, what happened to range? But what happened to dancing in and out, back and forth? The, when you play against the ranged hero, you do okay. that. When you play against a melee hero, I should I be in front. Sure. Alright, okay. Yes. All right, all right. Yes. Alright. That's what I mean. This is, this is the problem, is that... Um, like, I'm in the middle of the creep wave as a melee hero, and you're... I, I mean, well, I could ask you the same question when you're playing a melee hero, right? Like, if it was that easy for melee heroes, then... So I should've just been right-clicking you right from the start, just... It's not even about right-clicking, it's just about putting yourself between the... the me and the creep wave. And, and then, um, using the remnant, essentially, to get CS and zone me out. And then when you use the remnant, Ted, What's yeah. gonna happen is that you're gonna build up a creep advantage at all times. Okay, because I'd always thought that I didn't want to have like my creeps pushing over, because I would be like, no, oh, it's then fine. they're just gonna die. And because you can keep playing aggressively after that point. Okay. Ooh. I fucking Key lost in Ted. ten seconds. Ten seconds lost, guys. Ten seconds. Key is Ted. Is that you're just trying to burst down the creeps? You notice that when all your creeps fall fly in, okay? Um. They always attack like one creep, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like they file in a line and they attack one creep. Before that creep is when it's about at like 180 HP, Ted, you should have already remnanted that between the range creep and that one. Do you get what I'm saying? And then you just right click the range creep twice essentially at the same time and you'll always get it. Okay. So then I get two creeps for one remnant. Exactly. Okay. And then by that time, you've essentially set a zone where I can't walk into. So when the creep wave comes in, right click the range creep once or twice and put yourself in the middle of the range creep and the melee creep. Of your wave? Yes, of my wave. Okay. <laughs> Not of your wave, of my wave. You're essentially just creating a barrier where I can't it just, enter. It feels so dangerous. Like, I just it's not though. What am I going to do? Right Hang back. Why though? I, I'm a Kunko with a level 1 Tidebringer. Alright. Like what's, what's going to harm you? You're giving me so much room for no reason. I feel like I'm gonna get punched by your creeps if I if I harass too much, though. You don't right-click me, though. It's just about killing the creeps. Alright. So put yourself... Yes, exactly. Well, what am I gonna do? This? What does this do to you? And then you can remnant, and I can't come forward! Oh, baby. Do you see now? Like, I... Get you're essentially owned, just son. put yourself between you and the creep wave. Like, in the first wave. Let's have the like, look, oh, look, look at this shit. Look at this. I'm you all see... up in your fucking grill, baby. Come on. You see the difference? Is yeah, that you, when, when you played the first time, you literally just sat back and let me do whatever I wanted. But this time, you immediately set the pace yeah. of the game. And you ain't and this is what... shit. Oh my god. Exactly. Because I can't go. What did I do in the first wave? Like, I got frustrated and I right clicked you. What did that do to you? It did like 40 damage because you have five armor. Mm hmm. That's what I'm trying to tell you is that whenever you play against a range a melee hero, you should never ever secede the first wave. Like okay. it should instantly be you winning the lane like within the first wave. It's not the the problem is like you started doing it in the second wave, but by that time like you had already established that you weren't gonna like get in the, between the middle of the wave, and so I could just pretty much do whatever I wanted. Right, it's right. just about the body language okay. because whenever you play now against melee heroes and you play like this, like against almost any melee hero. They're just gonna play back. Okay, let's keep going because I've I've had a good start here. I wanna I wanna I wanna keep okay. going. I don't, I, that might have been a fluke. So you just keep doing what you did. Like, what you just did right now is what you keep doing. Is that now you're playing up on me? It's hard for me to get CS and stuff like that. Here I come. All right. I'm gonna fucking lose this. You know it. It's fine. Relax. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So you're pulling the creepway back finally. You're getting into the center, you're making it hard, because essentially what you're trying to do, yes. exactly, you're just making it difficult for me to come in, and now I have to just like watch you CS essentially. Get set for heavy weather. I gave that one up, that was bad. The only thing now Quite that needs safe. to be different a little bit is that you have to find better times to eat a tango. Yeah. Like essentially you should have walked up to where I am, like right here, yeah. and just eaten yeah. one when there's nothing to do. 
because you're just taking a little bit too much like side damage. Hmm. Okay, and that's one thing I would not like you to do is just I don't want you to um, right. yeah, exactly right. like you're essentially just like wasting um... See now I'm losing it No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine because you're gonna get your bottle soon and again You gotta stop it. That was because I thought you were gonna go on me then so I no I You me. can't you gotta wait for me to go you gotta wait for me to go first ah. Ooh, Who's that handsome devil? Without a doubt! See, now I'm gonna die. Storm warning! I can get my bottle now, though. See, now I would hang, yeah. I would get my bottle, hang back, regen, and then try and reset it. Yeah, exactly. And just do the same exact thing over and over again. Okay. The only two things that you're doing incorrectly here is A, you're prioritizing right clicking me and denying over going for. Um, your own CS. Like, mm. you should always go for your own CS. And the second thing that you're doing incorrectly, Ted, is that you're, um, you're just using the remnants again to, like, get one overload hit off, mm. essentially, right? Like, you're not trying to right-click me, um, whenever you can. It's just, it's just about putting yourself in between the creep wave. Okay. And if you come it's in... It's just for... about the pressure. So, so when exactly. should I be right-clicking? Like, if you do something stupid and... You're yeah, stuck if I the... come if I come too far forward or something like that, or if I decide to like bypass you to get to a creep wave, then you should be right clicking me. Okay. Otherwise, you're not trying to force it, and that's the problem. Is that a lot of the times you're essentially just like forcing it by right clicking me, then you draw aggro, et cetera, et cetera. Like things go wrong. Like just relax, like okay. slow down, play the creep wave. Okay. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. I really want to play like a real game now, though. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna go to the office right now, so play Storm mid and okay. tell me how it goes after, right, and I'll, I'll talk to you know. in like an hour. Alright, dude. Alright, take it easy. Time. Yeah, sure. Bye. Bye. Good game, well played, boys. Very nice. Oh, super coach James. Wow. Yeah, we won. <laughs> <laughs> we can do another one. I was mid uh, facts apart from Pyrian, sorry, until the kill. Not so good, like, um. I feel like. It's the... hard versus Quop. Quop and Storm are actually, um, <laughs> I find very defensive. <laughs> like, I, fe I felt like, um. I had to oh, well. dip in and out, but every time I dipped in, she would just hit me with oh! the. Oh! I balanced dagger. the experience per min and gold per min exactly. How is that even possible? I've never I got seen a, that before. A lunar. A lion 3 2 shoulder. 2 last hits! What? Did you really? What? Nice. Nice. Yeah, 3 to 2 last hits. Oh my god. It's the best. We're happy. My life is now complete.